Ladies and gentlemen, I have to admit, I was a bit shocked when I refreshed Cydia earlier today and found this in Cydia. Yes, this is Flux. If you're not familiar with Flux, you need to get familiar because Flux is already a great utility for OS X. I use it every day. Um, and what this does is it actually warms the colors of your screen at night. So you see choose lighting, um, you can choose the lighting, you have lone transition, and then you have uh, color sensitive work you can disable or enable. And then here you see the different types of lighting. Have you ever noticed how people, how the screen kind of glows blue at nighttime when you're working on your PC or your Mac or even on your phone? Uh, well, this actually, you can set the type of lighting that you're going to be in at night. And after a certain period of time, say for instance, seven o'clock, it'll automatically adjust the color of your screen based on these selections here. And that what that does is it helps prevent eye strain. You know, eye strain can be a big factor with these bright screens and bright displays that we use when the color temperature isn't set just right. So that's what Flux does. That's what it does on OS 10 machines. That's what it does here on the iPhone. And really, it sounds a little technical, but actually, after you actually use it and you get used to it, there's no going back. Trust me, I've been using Flux for who knows how long and I just, I can't live without it. I can't subject my eyes to that terrible color at nighttime. And as an example, as you can see, I've adjusted the time forward. So you saw how the, uh, the color or the warmth of the color increased as the time increased as well. So that's Flux's MO. It, it increases the warmth of your display as it gets closer to nighttime. That's the whole thing. So let me show you some other, um, let me show you a more drastic change. The incandescent is probably one of the more drastic uh, display changes. Let me go back and change the time so you can see that change to the in incandescent warmth there, as you can see that. Uh, it does look a little, I don't know, maybe it looks a little weird to you at first, but I'm telling you, if you use your phone in the dark or use it in a, in a dimly lit area, you're going to notice a big difference with your eyes. You're going to suffer less eye strain by far. One of the nice things that the developers of Flux has done is they've included instructions on how to use the tweak, also reasons why it works, you know, different setup scenarios, things like that. It's really in depth here in Cydia. Uh, it tells you, you know, how much power it consumes. It does have a minor impact on your battery, but the impact is supposedly minor. Um, iPhone 3G supports experimental. Um, you can turn off Flux at any time, things like that. So you have a lot of in-depth uh, instructions right here in the package. And best of all, you know, best of all, out of all this, this tweak is free. So I think you at least owe it to yourself to give it a shot to see if it has any impact on your eyes. Uh, it certainly does for mine. So let's go ahead and set the time back to daylight hours. and You'll notice that the screen cools off considerably. Folks, that's Flux. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with the iDownloadBlock.